It's the kind of beat to go Hey guys, what's going on? It's Joey and we're here today for Quest to Silver episode number three. Now, right now, I do have some raids going right now and these are all pre-recorded. I was actually attacking the other day and I just felt kind of like recording them while I was playing. Just randomly picked it up and just had it going. So already my place, my troops have been placed down here. This is probably near the back end of a raid. Well, it just started really. But I just found this raid to be a little bit interesting just because I liked my setups here. Now, this one was right by the hospital here. We had, looks like we had a dead, two dead shots, a machine gunner and a couple mercs. And they were pretty much right on the pad and it just made it really easy because those mercs are easily picking off all of those drones there's nothing too high powered no brutes nothing too crazy coming out of there and it just made it really easy now this is my favorite part right here we have the two dead shots the one mercenary and then another dead shot and two sharpshooters up in the front there and it's just basically an entire sniper and then one um machine gunner and a little setup right there so i just really like that for some reason guys i just felt like recording it that was pretty much the main reason just because i really loved how that little setup of snipers kind of played out and I ended up winning that one 232 of 150 and I got a 60 time bonus which I can't complain with that ever those are always the bomb.com here and we cleared it we beat Mbino, I believe and we got plus 10 and that put us up pretty high on the pvp points so we're jumping in right into the next raid here I've got four clips here for you guys and this one is pretty much going to start off right from the beginning and as you can see we got some daredevils we got some brutes we got some uh, assassins and we also have some of those patient zeros. So right off the bat, I'm going to put a machine gunner and my dead shot loadout right here and my snipers. I kind of like putting those guys together because they're going to be chilling in the back. And that's pretty much just what I like doing. I like putting those guys in the back because that way they're kind of safe from those long range attacks and things like that. So that one was pretty close to home. It was pretty near the objective. So I ended up throwing down the destructor and a couple close range guys like my uh, mercs and commandos. Now, I was feeling pretty confident about that one. So I moved on to the next place to defend now this one was another interesting little spot now i wasn't sure if they were going to be able to hop over that wall there i was almost sure they weren't going to be able to but i was trying to play, think about where i wanted to place my last machine gunner so i was trying to place my guys accordingly to make sure they're properly placed you could say so i'm just looking here i'm just trying to think through where i want to put my guys here so i ended up putting my m machine gunner there basically because i felt like it had the largest straightaway but wasn't too far away that my guys were just gonna be wasting time when they're slowly crawling over there and just in case they did hop over that wall which i didn't think they would i just threw two mercs or over there two scatter shots just in case they happened to hop over that wall that way my guys would be defending because i didn't want to lose any of them now over here i knew that my um these two paths would be flowing into this one intersection here so I ended up just kind of not really, I wasn't worried, but I added a couple of scatter shots and commandos just to kind of take out some of these close range drones, drones and everything like that. And the machine gunner and the dead shots are back there just chilling, just to kind of take out whatever's left. So as you can see, we are just cruising here. Now, this is a pretty solid setup I had here, very close to quarters. However, those guys up front are really holding off my guys just long enough so that my people will have plenty of time to just take out everybody. So as you can see, we are just continuing on here. We're just sending guys, trying to get the best time on us here by sending these waves early because I'm feeling pretty confident in my setup because these machine gunners over here by the close objective here, handling everything beautifully. And this two-way intersection, which I was really loving this setup here. And here comes the assassin just kind of closing in there, but he just instantly gets picked off. Now we just have a couple guys left here. We got a biohazard and a couple drones. They don't stand a chance, guys. Don't even have a shot. That machine gunner gets warmed up, takes them all out. We got one drone just kind of chilling, and he's taken out by those snipers. So, on to the next clip, I believe. Just in one moment here, we got a 260 bonus, 297. That is pretty darn close to 300. I don't think I've ever gotten 300, but we got a plus 11 on Walking Dead, and that put us up to second place in PvP. Now, I believe this is going to be one of the last ones. I'm not entirely sure, uh, but I think I, this is... I really like this setup because <laughs> I just kind of recorded the ones that I was really enjoying the setups with. I loved how the dead shots and the machine gunners were lined up here. I borrowed three dead shots from crazy here, level 23, very high powered. And I was just loving this setup. This machine gunner really didn't even really have to do anything just because these guys were picking off, getting good shots. This is really early, kind of right through it. But I just really, <laughs> I just had started it and I really loved how it was going. So I just kind of threw it on there. But I was really enjoying that setup, guys. Just the three dead shots there with the machine gunner i was loving it. and here's another one coming on halfway through here and i felt like there was something pretty special about this one so this one i was pretty much kind of okay this straight away here this is what i was loving everything was getting pretty close here and just at the last second that machine gunner loads up and just mauls down everyone those great straightaways just perfect for the machine gunner there now this one was pretty uh interesting because of the dr zombowitz 
So ended up flaring every guy there, and he just starts taking out everything. However, we ended up picking him off, and I just really like that one stop spot. Basically, just because everything was so compressed, it was all focused on that one pad, and it was just kind of didn't stand a chance. You got one last infector there. He's about to get picked off. Didn't stand a chance there. But I believe that is coming to an end, guys. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these quick little PvP attacks. I will see you guys in the next Quest of Silver. Hopefully, you'll be there. Thanks for watching, guys.